What's going on everyone? I'm James Young with jamesyoungphotography.com and this is Teach Me How to Lightroom. Today we're editing an image directly out of the DJI Phantom 4 Pro. Now I went out and took this shot. It's during sunset. It's pretty low light and this is actually a bracketed exposure and it's already been combined into an HDR image. So this is where we're starting. And bam, this is where we're going. Let's get right into this thing. And if you want to follow along with this, or you think that this scene should go in a totally different direction, the raw file is available for you to download in the description down below. And if you do take it, tweak it, edit it, post it, tag me in it, I would love to see what you came up with. The first thing I notice about this right off the bat is that I want to lower the highlights and I want to do that substantially. There's a lot of information here in the highlights coming from the sunset, so I want to bring that down and I'm probably just going to bring it down to 100. Boom. Already tons of detail. Let's go. Moving down as we get to our shadows, you can see down here it's pretty dark. Over here it's okay, but let's go ahead and open up these shadows a little bit. Probably gonna go pretty high on this as well, somewhere around 70, 80 or so. Let's do 83 for now. Now our whites, we're gonna wanna bring these down a little bit too. Not too extreme, somewhere around 35-ish or so. Boom, landed right on 35, let's go. Then on our blacks, we're gonna wanna bring these down a little bit too, somewhere around 20-ish or so. I like that. So we already have a huge change just in our basic panel here. One thing that's sticking out to me here is the scene is a little bit cold, so we can introduce some more warmth into the image by taking our white balance slider, bringing the temperature to the right, introducing a lot more yellow to the scene. We're gonna go pretty far with this one. Let's go around there. That is a little more true to the scene. So let's go down here to presence. I want to bring the vibrance down just a hair, just about minus five, that's good. And let's fine tune this thing a little bit here. I'm gonna to want to reduce the oranges just a little bit. Not much, but maybe like minus 15. There we go. And I think I'm actually okay with some of the other colors. I like it. This was a very vibrant scene to the eye, so I'm okay with it being pretty vibrant. So as we scroll down, I'm actually gonna scroll all the way down and get to our dehaze, because this is going to really make the image very, very punchy. Let's add like 25, 30, there we go, to dehaze. That looks incredible. So let's round this thing out a little bit. Let's add some sharpening to the mix about 78 or so and then I'm gonna reduce the noise quite a bit somewhere around 35 ish there we go and I think that this looks awesome I would get a huge metal print of this if I were you if you were looking at this you should probably just buy one from me let me know I'm just messing around but check this out even if we zoom in you can see here this is a low light situation and the dynamic range we got out of this puppy was really, really good. So I'm gonna zoom out here and let's just take a look at where we started and then bam, look at where we got to. Just from adjusting a few of these sliders here, only doing a little bit with the colors and introducing a lot of warmth. We can go any direction with this. We can add even more if we wanted to, but where I left it is a little bit more true to the scene and I'm totally happy with that. So make sure you go download the raw file to this drone shot. Tweak it however you want. I'd love to see what you come up with. Tag me on your social media posts. And if you learned something today, it would be awesome if you liked the video. And if this is your first time checking it out, it would be sweet if you subscribe to the channel as well. Well, I'm James Young with jamesyoungphotography.com. And this is Teach Me How to Lightroom.